Hi, this is Dante Jason 6 and I'm going to show you how to put a UMD disc onto your PSP without using a, um, uh, um, a UMD dumper, I think that's what it's called, uh, or a UMD copier or something. Um, okay, you don't, you do need um, custom firmware. What I'm using is um, 5.50 Gen A full. Um, th that's what it's called. Um, it's very quick and very simple. So basically, you're just using the custom firmware. Okay. Right. First thing we need to do first is put the UMD disk into the PSP. Right. Okay, so now we know that's done and out of the way, if you're beginners at this, um, then just follow the instructions. Okay, now just ignore that. Um, press the select button, because um, you get a menu on here. Um, right, go down to USB device, you have memory stick, flash 0, flash 1, 2 and 3 and then you get UMD disk UMD disk is what you really need so the um, so like the USB um, can go to the computer so it's like basically like a memory stick right all you have to do is go onto USB and then you'll get something flashing up if you have Windows 7 okay open folder to view files then you have a CSO file right here. I want um, all you need to do is just copy it onto your computer. I've got um, a PSP list there. It's not big, but it's okay. I've copied copied it onto here. You can rename it if you really want to. If you don't, then that's your choice, obviously. Okay, so I've basically copied this. And if you want to put it on back on your PSP, or you've got like an emulator on your computer, you can just leave it. But if you really want to put it back on your PSP, then I'll show you right here. Okay, so basically you go back, you click the select button, um, change the UMD disk on the USB device back to memory stick. Back to the way it was. Okay, now you've got to click, um, go on to exit. And then back onto USB device. So now you're using your memory stick. Uh, continue without saving. Um, right, then there's a U memory stick. Okay. Okay. So now, right. Um, you have if you if you're a beginner at this, you need to make it yourself an ISO file because. If the PSP can can get a little mixed up a bit a bit if um, you put your ISO or your CSO in your in your game because it doesn't work that way because um, because like the games have got like folders and and like uh, well like eboots and stuff so you really need to make yourself an ISO file put all your ISO files all your CSO files in there. Um, now what you have to do is double click. I've put it in there, so basically, it's all it's all good. And uh, to prove it that it works, I'll show it to you on your P on my PSP. Okay, uh, click back. Go on to the the game file, and basically it's there. I could just take the, I could just do that, and that's basically it. So it's very quick and very simple. Okay, um, if you guys have got problems with it, um, I haven't tried it on a PSP 2000, but if I do, I will have take a look for it for you. If you guys don't know how to, if you guys got problems with it. Then my only other option would be to do the UM, UMD dumper or a UMD copier. Okay? Right.
I hope you guys enjoy yourselves, and this is John Dante Jason Six.